Hi guys, I'm Tammy and welcome back to my channel. So I've actually really been struggling to decide what I want to make recently. I don't really know what I want to sew for myself. And I decided today just to put everything on hold and sew this really cute outfit for my niece. I want to take you along my day today as I sew this adorable ballet dress. Whenever I feel unmotivated or like my sojo's disappeared, which actually happens a lot more often than you might think, I honestly love to just focus my energy on making something not for myself. Something about sitting down and sticking together a paper pattern just really makes me feel relaxed. I don't know what it is, but it's just such a nice thing to do with your hands and it feels like you're crafting without having to actually make anything. I also just love taking this time to catch up on my favourite podcasts. Sometimes I even put a movie on in the background. I even sometimes just like to sit in silence, to be honest, and just take in what I'm doing in that moment. So I know my niece loves ballet and I found this really gorgeous baby pink stretch fabric to make this outfit. I find the great thing about sewing children's clothing as well is that it uses up such little fabric that's something I didn't even realise until I started making them. So if you actually have less than a metre of fabric and you don't really know what to do with it, definitely try sew something for a little one in your family. I also always find that children pattern pieces are so small and adorable. They can be trickier to cut out because of the size, but as long as you have a nice pair of sharp scissors, you'll honestly be fine. I've never really been someone that likes to sew for others until I started making clothing for children in my family. Something about sewing for children really takes the pressure away that whatever you're making has to be perfect. I think it's because I know deep down they're going to grow out of it a lot quicker than I think and it's not something that's going to last forever. It can be cherished and given on to another person once they grow out of it and just knowing that to me makes the process so much more fun. Something I discovered as well when sewing with knit fabrics is that I actually prefer using clips over pins to hold a seam together. Personally, I just find clips grab everything so much easier and they're less fiddly. I've never worked with this type of fabric before either. I really wanted to challenge myself and try something new. New techniques in sewing can be scary and I always worry that I'll mess up and the garment won't be wearable but I actually find that's personally how I learn best. Not everything that I make is wearable and generally the second time I make something I always find the fit is better because I have a better understanding of the construction and also just where I messed up. And this QE is my cat Nala, she always helps me out or tries to at least when I'm sewing. I actually always have sewers reach out to me on Instagram saying that they're really scared to sew with knit fabric. I love sewing with knits and it's allowed me to make comfier clothes that actually fit me well. Before I got my overlocker, I personally found that using a sewing machine and a zigzag stitch did work fine, but my old brother machine hated sewing zigzag stitches, so it just made the whole process less enjoyable. So I definitely recommend investing in an overlocker, especially if you want to sew with knit fabrics. And now I use my overlocker all the time and it really does create such a professional finish. I do use it for stretch fabrics and then I also use it on woven fabrics just to finish off the seam neatly. So this was my first time as well cutting out a circle skirt and I actually really like the shape that it creates. This pattern gets you to cut out two and then you cut them open so it's easier to attach to the bodice. I personally really like how you attach the bodice to the skirt in this pattern because you also make cute little knickers to go underneath and I just think it provides a nice amount of coverage. I find that just if you're a pattern maker and you're ever stuck in your own head, definitely try making someone else's pattern, take your mind off what you're doing because it will just help you reassess and come back to it when you're ready. 
I find as a pattern maker, sometimes sewing can feel really intense, especially when things don't work out. You're the one that actually has to figure out the instructions because obviously you're making it. And I find when I wanna take my mind off things, especially like when I'm in the middle of sewing a pattern, trying out a new technique in someone else's pattern actually gives me the push I need. Sewing for someone else can definitely feel daunting, but it really doesn't have to be. I'm not someone that just sews an outfit for anyone. I try to have really clear boundaries of what I'm comfortable doing because I always want it to feel like I want to make something, not that it's like a chore to do. If you have family members telling you to hem their jeans and you really don't want to, it's okay to be completely honest and open that that's not something you want to do. Since I started sewing, I really understood the time and level of skill it takes to make something out of nothing and I really wish more people would respect this. I also find sewing keeps me grounded and it helps me feel recharged and honestly more like myself, especially when I'm sewing for a family member and I see them wear my garment. Honestly, there's no better feeling than making clothes for yourself or someone else and then seeing them cherish what you made is honestly the best feeling in the world. I use elastic for this ballet outfit to finish the neckline and the legs. I really didn't need much either because it is only for a three-year-old and this pattern was useful because it actually showed the length of elastic you need for each size. I've actually only sewn of elastic once before in this way and it's when I tried sewing the swimsuit that I made earlier this year. I definitely found it so much easier today. I don't know if it's because I understand the process a bit more of how to sew elastic and I'm just less scared by it. But if you've never tried sewing of elastic to finish off areas, you definitely need to try it. Now that it's summer, I definitely want to play around with sewing more swimwear because I actually really enjoyed making that style of garment. Using elastic in your seams like that for me feels really professional and also it's just really satisfying to sew. I find projects like this to be such a nice palette cleanser and just allow me to sew something without having the pressure to make something for myself. And this is what the outfit turned out like. I actually really adore this baby pink colour. It has that sort of really girly sparkle to it without being super overpowering. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and hearing me ramble. I loved making this outfit and I really do encourage you to try sewing something out of your comfort zone and maybe for a loved one in your life. I'll see you in the next one.